What's up, Aquarius? Do me a favor, trust yourself, you are in the right place. Here is your moon message for the waning gibbous in Taurus. So this is covering September 13th through the 16th. And waning gibbous in Taurus energy is all about releasing aesthetics that don't serve you. Whether it's makeup on your face you don't want no more, like you're going natural, or you lost weight recently, and you're getting rid of that energy, or you're just cleaning up house and home. That's what this energy is all about. So when we're talking about love, since this is a love reading, this person might be noticing you clearing up, glowing up. We are going to find out. So let's dive in Aquarius, setting the intention for clarity. Only clear answers coming through these cards. What does Aquarius need to see about who's in their love energy for the waiting gibbous in Taurus? We have two coming out. We have the orphan and the nectar. And what's really interesting is we have two hands coming out on both of these cards. So I'm kind of feeling like whoever this is, I feel that they feel abandoned by you. I'm just going to say that I get that with the orphan abandonment, a sense of loss, like someone wanting you or it's like you left them or walked away from this person and the nectar. I feel like I feel like this person probably has a difficult time dealing with life alone or being alone. Like you were the nectar. You were, you know, their reason for living the juice, the squeeze. It's like you were their person and you walked away and they felt like you abandoned them. Not saying that's true. That's just how they feel, their perspective. So let's get more for Aquarius. For the waning gibbous and Taurus. Give me more for Aquarius's energy with the nectar, the orphan, and this person. So we have the emperor. So the emperor has a whole empire, very successful energy, and he's very balanced in his control. This can be about control, but I feel like when it's upright, this is someone that's like... They know exactly where to exert their energy, right? They're not too controlling. It's just like the perfect amount, the perfect distribution of power. Ooh, so we have the four of wands, Aries energy for both of these. So Aquarius, you could be dealing with an Aries, but I definitely get that this was someone that it seemed like you had it all together. Maybe you were married to this person. The queen of swords in reverse. <laughs> she can definitely be a bitch, definitely be harsh. This is Libra energy coming through. It's like something just went wrong. It's like all of a sudden you guys didn't see eye to eye or like, I feel like you walked away from this person and it seemed very cold and random to this person, but to you it made perfect sense because you were no longer seeing it like on the same level. Yeah, this is all about vision with the two of wands potential. They're telling me to take this one out. Yeah, I feel like you and this person, Aquarius, suddenly just didn't see eye to eye anymore. And you, I, I feel like you walked away. Yeah, this is like a scathing. And I feel like this person took it as like you betrayed them, but you were really just looking out for yourself because you were like, I feel unfulfilled in this. Yeah, I'm really getting an unfulfillment energy. So you walked away. It just wasn't hitting like it hit before. Yeah, and I feel like this person feels like either they owe you an apology or they want you to give them an apology. They feel stuck is what I'm getting with this energy. Give me more for Aquarius and this person. For the waning gibbous and Taurus. Yeah, I feel like this person just feels like they were given the cold shoulder, right? It's like empty handed. I'm really getting an empty handed energy. Like you just left me empty handed Aquarius. Let go. Exactly. What if anything can be done to let go of what is standing in your way? And I feel like it's funny because this is twofold. You, this person was standing in your way. So you were like, I'm letting go of this. I'm walking away. And this person felt like you just let them go. Like, like what the hell, you know, like you just hung me out to dry almost. Wow. Interesting energy. And Aquarius, you are an air sign. So you're able to move on much faster than other signs. Like I'm a water sign. We get deep in our feelings. Look at this fish intuition. You were just following your intuition. And I feel like this person felt like just empty handed. That's what I'm getting. So they, it's possible 
they could literally right now be asking for a second chance. You know, it's possible that this person's like in your reality asking you to come back. But I feel like you're just following your intuition. So let's get some advice from Spirit about how to navigate this. Give me something for Aquarius. Okay. Ambitious. In a world where possibilities are endless, I can do anything I set my mind to. Power and ambition courses through my veins when I intentionally reach toward my dreams. My dreams will meet me with open arms. There's so much about open arms, open hands. Yeah, money magnet. With the power of determination, I attract profitable opportunities. That really goes with the emperor. Money and I pull towards money and I pull toward each other like clicking magnets. The universe acknowledges my dedication, and so the universe rewards me with fruitful bounty. And I felt like I feel like you and this person. It's like so I feel like you just got more ambitious. Like your dream suddenly meant more to you than this relationship. And you were just like, sorry, I got to go. That's what I'm feeling like Aquarius. Like you just were like, it seemed very cold to this person. But for you, it just made sense. You're like, sorry, I got to chase my dreams. Like, you know, they're not going to wait for me. I got to go. And this person felt very empty handed by the fact that you chose your dreams over them. You chose not to chase the money. I feel like the money kind of followed you, but that's. The, the person felt like you chose to chase the money over them. Like you chose money over love. Here's your charm. So we have blessed coming out on top of ambitious. And I feel like on some level, this person does know that you are very talented. You're blessed at what you do. Like go, go for your dreams. But I am getting a bitterness with that. I'm definitely getting some type of a bitterness. So let's get the Astrodice in here for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to see for the waning gibbous and Taurus with this person? So we have Mercury energy, Gemini and Virgo, communication, and Libra energy, a lot of air sign energy. So this is all about, yeah, communication energy, balancing out something in the fourth house, which is nurturing, caring energy, cancer rules the fourth house, all about the home. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to communicate about, like, the home life with you. Like, why'd you leave home? You just left home. Like, what's going on? And you're like, yeah, I got to balance out my life. I got to chase my dreams. So Aquarius, that's a very interesting energy. You need a change, and this person wanted stability. You could have been dealing with a cancer. Who knows? But I hope this resonated for you. Thank you so much, Aquarius. And I'm sure I will talk to you again in another reading very soon.